Hey, welcome to or welcome back to Auntie's Cakery. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make royal icing baskets. First of all, you'll need a muffin tin and you'll want to spread some shortening on all of the little cups. The most important thing about this is the royal icing. It dries hard. I have it here in a piping bag and I'm using a number one piping tin. What you want to do is pipe a line straight across the top. I'm doing two just for decorative purposes. And then I'll make little scroll designs up here. put extra icing on the ends just to secure them, make them a little more sturdy. And I've tipped the pan up so I can do the bottom of the basket. As you notice, I'm just kind of letting that line drop. And now I'll start doing cross lines. First I'll do some horizontal. Next, I'll pipe some vertical lines. On this one, I'm doing diagonal lines, which I like better than the horizontal and vertical ones. I'm taking a brush and just cleaning up those sharp ends. On this one, I'm also going to put some little scrolls up at the top. Again, cleaning up those little pointies with a damp paintbrush. You can also do other designs like Cornelli lace. Now these need to dry at least overnight guys. And then very, very carefully you can take them off. They should pop right off because of the shortening. I always, always make extra because there will be some breakage like that one. But I'm still going to use it because the flowers will cover it up mostly. Now to glue it onto the cake, I use a little royal icing also. If you'd like to see this entire cake, I do have a video available. And there's the little basket. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this type of video, give me a thumbs up so I know to make more. Happy decorating. Bye.